So I'm going to do an example um, with finding a position vector of this problem, and then the second video will be finding the velocity vector and the acceleration vector. So we have our example number one. It says a rabbit runs across a parking lot on which a set of coordinate axes has strangely enough been drawn. How weird. The coordinates, which are in meters of the rabbit's position as functions of time t in seconds, are given by these two equations, x equals negative 0.31t squared plus 7.2t plus 28, and y equals 0.22t squared minus 9.1t plus 30. A at t equals 15 seconds, what is the rabbit's position vector r in unit vector notation and magnitude angle notation? So um, all we have to do really here is plug in 15 seconds for t, find what our x coordinate is and what our y coordinate is um, for that rabbit's position. So x is equal to negative 0.31t, which is 15 seconds squared, plus 7.2 times 15 plus 28. So we end up getting for x, our position vector is 66.25 meters. And then same thing for y, we get 0.22t, which is 15 squared, plus, not plus, minus, nope, minus 9.1t, 15, plus 30. We end up getting our y position at that point is a negative 57 meters. So if we want to put this in unit vector notation, it's pretty easy. We know that x is the i hat direction, that unit vector, and then y is the j hat unit vector. So we get r is equal to 66.25 meters i hat minus 57 meters j hat. And that is our position in unit vector notation. And then finding magnitude angle notation is a little bit trickier just because we have to now, um, you know, add those two vectors together using the tip to tail method and then find our resultant vector using Pythagorean theorem and then find the angle as well using trig trigonometry. So here is our r vector. We Sorry, not r vector, our x vector. We have 66.25 meters. And then y is negative, so that's going to be downwards, 57 meters. And then this is the r vector here. So solving for r, we get the square root of 66.25 squared plus 57 squared. Square root that whole thing. We end up getting that the magnitude of our r vector is 87.4 meters. So there's our magnitude. And then to get the angle, I'm going to use the inverse tangent. So this is our angle right here. We get the angle is equal to the inverse tangent of opposite 57 over, not, not hypotenuse, adjacent, 66.25. You could use inverse sine or inverse cosine, though, also because you have the hypotenuse now. Um, but I just choose to use tangent. Um, so we get the angle is equal to 40.7 degrees. And of course, if we're measuring from the positive x-axis, that would be a negative 40.7 degrees. So here is a picture of that r vector. So um, remember, position is a vector. So we measure the position vector from the origin, or that 0, 0 point, to where the object is located at that time. So this is what our position vector looks like. All right, so for part B, it says graph the rabbit's path for 0 to 25 seconds. Now, I've already drawn my axes on here. Um, we know that at 15 seconds, our position is 66.25 comma negative 57. So let's just put that in right now. So 66.25 is right there. Negative 57, was that what it was? Yeah, negative 57 is about right here. So that's our position at t equals 15 seconds. And then what you want to do here is you want to just pick some points sometimes um, to plug numbers in to find where the rabbit is at those points according to those uh, position equations. 
Um, I would do like do it by fives or something like that. Today I'm just going to do a couple more just to kind of get the gist of how the rabbit is moving. So first and foremost, if we do zero, that's pretty easy because if we look at these equations right here, since we have time in all of these, uh, you know, multiplied by in all those parts of those equations, that would just cancel out at time equals zero. So we end up getting at time equals zero, the x coordinate is positive 28 and the y coordinate is positive 30. So we get positive 28 and positive 30, which is about right here for that time t equals zero. And then let's plug in, um, I don't know, let's plug in 10 and maybe 20. How about that? Let's see what happens at 10 and 20 sec seconds. So at, 10 seconds, our x is equal to, let's erase this so I can actually see it now, <laughs> um, a negative 0.31t squared. So we get negative 0.31 times 10 squared, um, and then plus 7.2t, so plus 7.2 times 10, and then plus 28. So at 10 seconds, our x position, plugging this into my calculator, I get negative 0.31 times 100 plus 7.2 times 10 plus 28, and we get our x coordinate is 69 meters. And then for y, um, we have 0.22t squared. And then minus 9.1t, and then plus 30. So plugging in for y, we get 0.22 times 100 minus 9.1 times 100. Sorry, not 100, 10. And then plus 30. So we get a negative 39 for y meters. So at 10 seconds, we are here in a negative 39, which is almost down to 40, so right about here. Okay, and then let's do 20 seconds. Um, so x at 20 seconds is equal to a negative 0.31 times 20 squared plus 7.2 times 20 plus 28. So we get a negative 0.31 times 20 squared. Um, I hope I did 0.13, not 0.31. Make sure that you're checking your calculator so that you're actually doing it correctly. <laughs> um, plus 7.2 times 20, and then plus 28. I got 48 for x. And then y is 0.22 times 20 squared minus 9.1 times 20 plus 30. So 0.22 times 20 squared minus 9.1 times 20 plus 30, I get a negative 64 meters. So this would be about here, and then negative 64 is down here. All right, right about there. <laughs> Now I'm not going to spend time um, doing all of these points, but if you if you do them yourself, you'll end up seeing that this rabbit is going to go here, and you can kind of already see from here that he turns around and he's going to go back up that way. 